Hello there and welcome to Sergio's 4 Star Shopping Channel, the most exciting show in town. My name is Sergio and I just moved to this beautiful city of Copenhagen. Now in Copenhagen they hate trash so much that they take it to a place called Mordor and they burn it. <laughs> but here on Sergio's 4 Star Shopping Channel we love trash. The motto in our grotto is one person's trash and another person's treasure. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, enough of the chatter. Let's get down to business and meet the dream team. <laughs> so let's meet Stacy Shaw. Woo! Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, yeah Stacy. Yeah. Seems like you're looking you're doing very good. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking brilliant, mate. I'm fucking yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Oh. It's the first show of the season! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to do some hard fucking selling. Stacey, <laughs> 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 I've got a question for you. Yeah, shoot man, shoot. What is it exactly that you do? That's and why easy. do you do it? Oh, why? Well, basically, I'm a bit of a wizard. I'm a right old Harry Potter, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm a marketing specialist, Sergio. Okay. So basically, what happens is, ferret, big up the ferret, finds the stuff on the street, brings it to me, I find the, I find the qualities in yeah. those dirty old gems, and then I'll make the hard sell to the public. Well, that sounds great. Basically, yeah, it Stacey. sounds easy, but it's kind of hard actually. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, let's meet the next exciting member in the team. Let's meet the ferret. Oh, yeah, ferret. Oh, yeah. Stinky bastard. Stacy. So, ferret, it's very exciting to be here, isn't it? it certainly is, Sergio. Yeah. yeah. So, um, ferret, do you mind telling the viewers at home what do you do and why do you do it? Well, you know me, I just love a little bit of garbage and trash and toy markets and all that. Yes, yeah, so I go out and I sniff out all the nice junk and I bring it all back to you. Yeah, so um, what did you uh, find this uh, week, Ferret? Would you mind telling us? Well, yes, I would. I found a vast array of marvelous and I can almost not contain the excitement of the thrill that these people are gonna get from this amazing treasures! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, oh, that's great, yeah. isn't it, everybody? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> well, Ferret, that was so nice. We'll certainly be coming back to you later. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on and meet the most exciting part of this team, I've got to say. They're fit, they're healthy, they're sexy, and they deliver the trash to the people who love it the most. Let's meet Bobby and Robbie! <laughs> So, Bobby and Robbie, would you mind uh, standing up? Yeah, 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 we are working here after all, aren't we? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Bobby and Robbie are so excited to be on television that they even do this for absolutely for free. You love it, don't you, Bobby and Robbie? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, um, uh, Robbie, was it? Robbie, why do you do this exactly? I think what we're doing is was really meaningful, Sergio. I would buy a thousand miles for this car. Well, that's the kind of enthusiasm we want, isn't it, everybody? Jeez, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And it's uh, was it Bobby or Robbie? I can't really remember. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bobby, what about you? Why are you doing uh, this? Yeah, it's gonna somehow. Yeah, it's gonna somehow. It's gonna buy a horse. Oh, they pursue they for a new meaning. It is good about. Uh -huh, yeah, um. uh, he really loves it. He really loves it. He really loves it so much. He likes to work hard and he just loves it a lot. Thanks for that. That was that uh, nice Danish and meant to be late. All right, then. Good for something. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it was great meeting Bobby and Robbie, wasn't it? But anyway, let's move on to selling the treasure. So the first show segment we call First Come, First Served. We offer up an exciting item for sale. And then whoever comes in with the bid first gets the prizes. Stacey, tell us all about it. Certainly will, certainly will. All right there, viewers at home, we've got something exciting for you, yeah? Are you feeling not so sharp in the kitchen? Wishes your dishes tasted a bit better? Whatever. One object, one life. Anyway, it's a nice clean cut. That's what I'm trying to say. Wicked. Tell you what it is. Go on, show them, mate. Shing shing if you know what I mean. That's right 
Why, why are you showing the forks underneath there, Bobby? Hello, Bobby. Bobby, will you give him? Give him an hand, will give you? Him <laughs> <laughs> look at that! Look at that! You could have at least six guests with this package. Actually, I think five guests because I'm going to keep one of them for myself. <laughs> 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 Stacy, what do viewers, I mean, how much does a viewer at home have to pay for this beautiful knife set that Robbie and Bobby are demonstrating? Well, that's where it gets exciting, Sergio. Let um, me tell you, retail value, this beauty goes for, brand new mind, goes for 295 euros. That's not bloody, krona, that's euros. Bloody hell. Yeah, 295 euros, Stacey, for this right, amazing yeah. package. Amazing package. Well, I, I, mean, I mean, viewers at home must be going crazy. I mean, you just want to know, how much are we selling it for? Well, that's where the fun really starts, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we're not selling it for euros, we're doing it for krona, yeah? In our home currency. And then we're not going for... 300 kroner, no, we're gonna go all the way down to 200 kroner. 200 kroner. That's like, what? How, I don't know how much that is in euros. Ah, yeah, it's, it's like kind of a nothing, mate. Nothing, mate. Oh, sorry about your foot. <laughs> so that was an exciting segment. I'm sure the techs are flying in. Speaking about flying, I know somebody who's been flying around the city this week looking for all those brilliant treasures that you're buying. Yes, that's right. It's time for the show segment, which is X Max the Spot. <gasps> Ferret, what have you been finding for us this week? Well, you know, sir, you, there's so many places to find treasures, treasure, treasures, as I say. I thought, if I just tell you the place, you might forget. So I made a little tape. Well, um, yeah, Ferret, and no one really asked you to, 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 to do that, did they? Don't be tight, Sergio, mate. Let Ferret play his little tapey. Yeah, but Stacey, I think that I don't, I don't know. No, no buts, mate. You promised us great freedom, and we're going to take it, innit, Ferret? Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> He's been working hard. Stacey, I think I see your point. So anyway, it's true. Let's see this week's show of X Max the Spot. Well, hello. There you are. Every day I meet people, and people, they ask me, Well, Ferret, why don't you work? And I say, well, why should I work? People are so wasteful, so I don't have to work. I can just get their garbage. Oh, here we are at my favorite place in Copenhagen. This is Bispe Ends, Gentle Station. This is good center. This is one of the best places. This is where you can find all kinds of treasures. Normally, people they just put their garbage in the bin and then it goes directly to burn. But some people, some very special people, they bring it here to the Buddha Center so other people can have some pleasure from their treasure. Mm. Well, that was great and that was X Max the Spot. That'll be here every week, so make sure you tune in for more. Actually, Ferret, I've got to say, I was a little bit impressed by that. I mean, now we can go out and find all that treasure before Lord Vattenfall burns it in Mordor! Ooh. Yeah, so... Well, that was great. We can feel how wild the people are going at home, can't we, uh, yeah. Bobby? Yeah, food's take the right to the hit singer. To the hit wheel. Uh, sorry. I think they will be absolutely crazy about it. <laughs> Listen, Bobby, are you are you sure you're up for this, mate? I mean, with all this Danish oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely sure. Think, I, I thought you said you had been on, on language school. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've only been here a month, Bobby, and I'm trying. <laughs> no problem. I, I, I know this guy who have been in language school and he don't even speak the language after seven years, so don't worry. Yeah, I mean, seven years, Bobby. <laughs> Haven't you been here that long, mate? Sure. I, I mean, I'd be pretty embarrassed if I'd been here seven years, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well um, so anyway, I, um, I think, Bobby, after that awkward little bit, <laughs> um, it's time to read the listings. You, you are up for that, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's not just Sergio's four-star shopping that's the exciting thing going on in Copenhagen. There's loads of creative, beautiful, community-minded people who do things all the time. And on Sergio's four-stars listing, we're going to find out all about them. If you've got a great thing going on, text it in to us and let us know. And we'll read it out on the next show.
I heard about a weekend soup kitchen at every Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, on the below address. Ha ha! See, see you! <laughs> Og nu siger jeg det lige på dansk, fordi jeg jo forstår ikke en skid dansk. Vi har brevskrivningsaften hver tredje onsdag i måneden kl. halv fem. Og der kan I komme ned og skrive jeres breve til de tætteste mennesker, dem I holder allermest af. Og der kan I igen bruge adressen hernede under. I skal bare gøre det. Så, so, everybody. You know, it sounds like people are doing some pretty beautiful things out there in the city. And that's why I love being in Copenhagen. But, you know, sometimes, despite all the nice things and all the nice people, you just get a problem that you can't fix. Well, don't worry, because here on Sergio's Four Star Shopping Channel, we've got Stacey Shaw, and she'll fix your problem in her agony ant section. Stacey, what's wrong? Welcome to Stacey Shaw Cares About Every Single Person in the Universe. That's right. Let's listen to what the viewers' problems are this week. Ferret. February the 9th. Dear Stacy, I'm writing you from the toilet at my house. I have a big problem. I've been caught in here three times masturbating by my husband. What shall I do? My life is a big mess. Dearest, sincerely, Gustavo. Gustavo, yeah. I'm really down with that. I'm really understanding. Those interruptions on those private moments, that's not nice, that's not nice. Something needs to be done, you know, you need the intimacy. So I tell you what, my piece of advice is this. You tell that husband of yours to take his hand like this. And turn it around like that. And bang, three times on the door. Learn to knock me and stop interrupting the private moments. Fucking hell. Good luck with that, Gustavo. Have we got another one? Dear Stacy, Stacy yeah. I got sauce all over my face. Sauce? Yeah. Sauce, alright. Like and I gravy, keep yeah? scratching and scratching so the blood. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the blood! <laughs> what fucking weird, everyone. Please help me, sincerely. <laughs> An embarrassment. I'm so sorry, but. So basically, you're scratching sauce off your face. <laughs> Right. Well, I'd, I would recommend that uh, you do something about what's going on here, but I've got something that I could sell to you. And I'll do it for a reasonable price, yeah, because that scab's probably a bit sore. You can cover it up with a balaclava. I'll sell you that five krona, mate. That's a deal that you can't beat. How about that? So that's it for Stacey's compassion for today. I hope you've learnt something. I'll see you next week. On to Sergio. Crikey, thanks for that, Stacey. That was brilliant. Well, I'm really sad to say that it's the end of this week's show. We're all... Yeah. 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 yeah, but don't worry. Don't worry. We're back next uh, next time. I don't know when that'll be exactly. But there's still one exciting section left. The, the section everyone's been waiting for. It's free as a bee. Where we're... <laughs> where we're going to be giving away a free smartphone or racer bike but what's it gonna be nobody knows except the computer doors it's a smartphone yeah. oh, <laughs> oh, smart that's phone. right you're gonna win a smartphone but hey you remember sergio when we were talking the other day around the campfire drinking vegan hot chocolate do you remember what we were saying i remember something i remember clearly we were talking about how the only way to defeat mordor and his eternal fires yeah. is to be kind that's right, Stacey. Compassion, you know? So, there's a catch to winning this here smartphone. Yeah, that's right, it's got a camera, it's got a calendar, a calendar on a phone, it's got contact lists, everything you need. But the only way that you can have it is if you're going to give it to someone else. That's right. So, if you want this beauty, then you've got to text us and sign on to our Facebook page, and you've got to tell us why do you want it and who do you want it for? 
That's really lovely that Stacey. Right, so yeah. basically they have to give it as a gift to somebody That's right. and whoever texts in with the best reason gets this beautiful That's delicious right. Windows smartphone. Windows smartphone. Well, oh, anyway, good. it's that time of the show to say goodbye. goodbye. So we're going to end the show by putting on a lovely piece of music by a beautiful Icelandic artist called Linus. So if you'll just cue that up and we'll have a hooga time, you get bidding. The numbers are scrolling on the screen now. See you next week. See you next week, viewers. I mean, fans. Stay.